How you doing? My name is Charles Washington. I'm an environmental artist and I'm working on a series of upcycle projects that we're going to be able to uh, give you the opportunity to be able to take part in. I want the first thing I want to be able to share with you at this time is the different materials that we're going to be using. Uh, first product that we definitely want to be aware of is that we need two containers. One for two containers of water. One to be able to use to clean your brushes. The other to, to be able to keep your water flowing with your colors. Water is definitely your friend. You, know, you want to always be able to have those two containers available along with a, a, a piece of uh, cloth or, 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 or napkins to be able, or towels to be able to you know, keep your brushes clean. The second thing you want to be focused on is the brushes. You want to be able to use all different types of brushes and it's great to be able to experiment you know, the larger brushes and also the smaller brushes for details. And as we go along, I can tell you how to be able to use that effectively. Along with the brushes, sponges. Uh, look in your cupboard, look in, in any, any room that may be able to have some of these great, fantastic materials to use. One is the sponge. Uh, with the sponge, you want to be able to get the sponge, and this is great. Go to your kitchen and see if you have any of these tools here. They may look like they're pretty good, but it's excellent. And we're creating a new series of brushes to be able to work on a couple other series of uh, of the three-dimensional pieces and also the sculptures and glass. It's real simple. You cut them in different angles and you do this. You apply it. Now the secret at this point is to be able to then dip them in your container of water. You know, squeezing it so you can get all of the water out. But now it has flexibility. You want it to be able to have the flexibility so when you start applying the inside of this particular project you can actually use a nice wine glass that you may not want to use anymore and this works perfectly so you have a series of different widths so it can actually help you design it that's one of the techniques and one of the projects that we're going to be working working with glass and also working with markers markers are great because you can actually use permanent markers to be able to do different techniques. One, to be able to establish your position with designs, okay? The other, you want to be able to use the markers for details, which I'll talk later on in this process. Going forward, we have the markers. Uh, we also have paint. I love paint. I love the different techniques that you can use with paint. Um, if you sign up, you know, to be able to be part of that special series with the 25 uh, lanterns uh, you also will be able to get a variety of different types of water-based paint and you understand I said water-based we want to be able to keep keep um, very uh, environmental conscious and water-based paint um, is a very good process to use uh, and also water-based varnish that will then be able to keep that fabric or metal or any type of items it bonds it and it has a little more longer longevity or longevity also so we're talking about the painting process. And as far as design, I really want you to, to understand that we want to be able to take that, that, uh, that creative mold you know, and get it outside the box. You know? So we want to go beyond outside the box with creativity. We want to think about going beyond the box. And that's by thinking of different creative ideas to be able to use in your home. This is one, okay. The next step, we'll be looking at is uh, um, the working with the glass and also work with mirror and I'll be able to talk more about that.